present we are we are present in believe me <coughs> because of the only reason we have depression frustration no we can do and not do things so when because of this misidentification with the temporary body our happiness is clouded <coughs> there is a faint reflection it is there So where is the pleasure? Is it in money? Going to different places? Because the soul is present in the body, we try to see and enjoy. We try to hear and enjoy. We try to taste and enjoy. You agree? Somebody comes and tells us, I always say this, this one sentence, you can make friendship with anybody in this world. You want to hear that sentence? To be honest with you, I don't, I don't want to. I want to tell you the truth. You look so beautiful, really. <laughs> Then you'll go and tell he's the best person I've ever met. <laughs> But do you know, as a spirit soul, everybody is very beautiful. But unfortunately, because of karma, karma is a famous word in America today. <laughs> But nobody knows what it is. We are given different limbs, different colors. Trust me, as a spirit soul, we are very good. So, because the soul is stuck in the body, as I said, we are trying to gratify our senses, gratify mind, gratify intelligence, and be happy. Today, I am here, here as your humble servant. to present the different degrees of happiness on different levels then introduce you to another aspect called the spiritual pleasure which most of the people in the world today are not aware of You are not at all upset. 
you feel very good, very energetic, so much joy in your heart. The next day you get up. Immediately, I have to do this, 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 I have to do this. And I have to enjoy the sense pleasure. And I have to meet my girlfriend or boyfriend and enjoy it. Sense enjoyment. And then suddenly, somebody comes across you. Hey, yesterday, you will tell them, I purchased Toyota Camry. They will say, yesterday I purchased BMW. Oh, BMW. <laughs> we are not happy that you purchased a car. We are miserable that uh, somebody else, our friend has purchased a better car than us. <laughs> or we just finished or we just graduated. Somebody else said, our friend has got a better job than me. I have not got a job yet. That is me. Then another, another day you get up. You feel like, what do you want to do today? I want to sleep. <laughs> How many hours? All day. In the evening, drink and sleep. What about tomorrow? Same thing. How many of us felt like this? At least one of the three I told you. Raise your hands. I am honest with you, everybody. This is 14th chapter Bhagavad Gita. Krishna is speaking. When I read it first time, I thought, why is he reading about, why is he talking about me? My wife <laughs> So, let me be honest with you. Mode of goodness, the first one I said. What is the nature of mode of goodness? When we are, when the top is pulled, there is material energy. Einstein brought this theory of relativity. This is all energy. And you know, there is a law of conservation of mass, law of conservation of energy. What is that law of conservation of energy? Energy can neither be created nor destroyed. But it can be converted from one form to another. In other words, energy is constant. What is that? Most of the time we deal with material energy. We cannot do anything with that. Only we know how to convert that set. She is called in Bhagavad Gita Maya, material energy. She acts on us. She is the one who pulls these ropes. One day she pulls the first rope, mode of goodness. You feel good. Sir, madam, you are not in good mood. You will tell your friend, today I am in good mood. You are not in good mood. You are in good mood, mode of goodness. <laughs> Another day, you are very, you are driven by passionate desires. Another day you are driven by more feelings. So I want to request you, when you are at that level, we want to acquire knowledge. So we, want, we want to lead a life free from sin. Somebody comes suffering, we, we do some charity, philanthropy. Our happiness when we are on that level is a rendering service, quote unquote, be religious, do tendencies. Somebody is giving knowledge, go. Cooking class, you will go there. Bhagavad Gita, you will go there. Somebody is teaching a class in software, you will go there. You won't acquire knowledge. Most of the time, Priests, professors, lecturers, they normally they come into this. They want to do something for others. Mode of, they, that is their happiness. But people in the mode of passion, Rajo Ragatmakam Vidhi, Trishna Sangasam You are impelled by a person who is in the mode of passion. He is impelled by desires, fruitive desires. What will I get? If you are going to get a, a dollar, you are ready to go to the end of the earth to get that. If you are not getting anything, 
you don't want to step out of the home. Please, in, in UC we have a program Bhagavad Gita. What will I get? Kirtan Prasad. I'll get. So you want always you need some dessert. You know? So if there is no, you are not getting anything, you will not go there. The author of this book, I mean, the commentator on this, of this book, Srila Prabhupada, he says, 95 percent of the people today direct the passion and ignorance. Especially a person who becomes passionate, he becomes more and more absorbed in bodily platform. And uh, fruitive activity and a very important point, they will be impelled by lust. The person in the, the mode of goodness he is happy giving charity, rendering service, but the person in the mode of passion he is happy maintaining few boyfriends and girlfriends. Impelled by lusty desires, very strong, powerful attraction between man and woman. And these people, because of their hard work, they may attain the pinnacle of success in their careers. But when they see somebody better than them, their heart pains like anything. Their heart burns out of envy. They are not happy. Even if they attain the entire world, you know, they are happy momentarily. Their happiness is alcoholism and the, you know, sense enjoyment for moments, few minutes. They are not happy. Third one. Tamogun, mode of ignorance. Mode of ignorance means they don't know what they are doing. They think right as wrong, wrong as right. If you go and tell them, this is very bad, they have a reason why they are doing it. They, they are different also. Madness. What is madness? Don't know what is right, what is wrong. As I said before, they think right as wrong, wrong as right. And laziness, procrastination will postpone. This weekend I have to do it, we will do it next week. They want to, they also have goals, Carry. they want to make career, but their goals are the only in the dream, so they never work hard. Many of us have this problem, postponement, procrastination. It means we are, we are impelled by that mood. And these people, they want to always sleep and they want to become intoxicated. In this case, third one, they become burden to themselves, they become burden to the society, whatever the happiness they attain, it's very, very frugal and minimum. They are not helping themselves or the society. So these three modes, not that they are permanent, they work very hard, jump up and down. In one day, they change back and forth. That's why people change their decisions. It's because of these things. If you go to somebody in the morning, early morning, where mode of goodness is prominent, somebody will tell you, I'll help you tomorrow. Then you call him in the evening. He said he'll help me yesterday. Sorry, I can't do it. Why? He has changed it to the next thing. Should I continue? Interesting. So, with this idea in the back, the goal of human life, Bhagavad Gita says, identify which mood you are in, 14th chapter of Bhagavad Gita, come to mood of goodness by the practice of devotional service. From there, transcend. Many people think spirituality means do good and be good. That is not the ultimate goal. The goal of spirituality, come to goodness, Goodness is a launching pad, there perform devotional service, then you can transcend. You can go to the spiritual level. These three are still material. Now please keep this point in the mind, we will go to the next point. Next. Next. So our happiness, we try to derive happiness on four levels. Bhagavad Gita explains. Indriyani Paranya or Indriyavya Paramana Manasasthu Paramandar Yekudde Parmasthu 
We have a body, gross body. It has senses. Five knowledge acquiring senses: tongue, skin, eyes, ears, and nose. We acquire knowledge through these five senses. We have five working senses. So, on a very very basic level, a living entity tries to find happiness on a senses sensual level. They want to find happiness through touch, smell. Very nice. Eyes. Why people travel? They want to see beautiful things. And they hear. They want to hear nice things. Mind is the sixth sense. The pleasure you derive, you derive. This is sense. Mind, intelligence, false ego. The pleasure you derive is that much. The pain you get is also that much. When the finger is cut, it pains. But somebody comes and seriously hurts you. You will not forget for 20 years. Why? The hurt is happening on the level of mind. When the finger is cut, it is on sexual level. You are understanding? But somebody is you, you get a happiness on the mind level, higher. But the pain you get on the mind level, Today, I am here to explain to you. I <clears> will <throat> uh, give you small examples. The biggest sense pleasure today we all see is a sex pleasure. There is an advertisement in one of the expressways in America. People are driving. Immediately, there, there is a big billboard S E X. Now we got your attention. Our church opens 9 o'clock Saturday and Sunday. Please come and attend. So everyone knows, just to attract the attention, these three letters are very powerful. Just to campaign for the church, to invite people from the church, they are using these three letters. Can you imagine? Means, today unfortunately, most of the mankind, they are not aware of higher sensual pleasures. So the grossest level is done. That's why whether it is a car in a small food processor, one small girl has to come and present it. Then only people see it. However, the next level is a mental pleasure. Pleasure on the level of mind. When you are enjoying here, you are not worried about the sensual pleasure. You are watching a baseball match. Fully a class football match. You are enjoying on the level of mind. Somebody comes and tempts you on sensual level. You are not interested. Why? Mind is enjoying. Interesting? Higher than that is intellectual pleasure. Those of you who are working in offices, you are when you go and do deliver things, your bosses are appreciating like anything. You derive so much intellectual pleasure. When there is a pleasure on the level of mind and the senses come, you don't care. Why? The enjoyment is here. I want to tell a small story. How many of you know George Washington Bridge near New York City? Listen to a story. There was an architect by name. John Robling. He presented to New York State, I will construct this bridge. He had a son by name, Washington Robling. So government gave them the contract to build this bridge. All the architectural engineers, they said, your plan is not at all practical. No, no, we will do it. So he, he got the contract started constructing this bridge. Then what happened one day, in the, there was a big accident on the site. The father, John Dobling, he died on the spot. The son had a head injury. Heavy, he sustained a you know, heavy head injury. And because of that, his entire body was paralyzed. He could move his fingers, that's it. His 
body sustained multiple fractures. He was on the verge of death. He can't even believe what happened. So all the workers said, father is gone, son is on the way. So this bridge will not happen. But this, this son, Washington Roblin, he developed with his fingers a sort of code for communication with his wife. She could understand. As he would pat on her shoulders with his fingers, especially the suggestions to construct the bridge, she would translate. She would translate into actions. And she would send those instructions to the website. You can't even believe that's how George Washington Bridge is constructed. This person, though he sustained a heavy injuries, practically the entire body was paralyzed because his, he was enjoying at the level of intelligence. The physical pain he could not, he could not, physical pain he could tolerate. Why? His intelligence is enjoying. I am building a bridge which is practically impossible in any terms. My body is paralyzed, still I am able to do it. If you see, sometimes people play chess. Six to eight hours, they lock up. Why? They are deriving pleasure on the level of intelligence. Should I continue? Next, next one is pleasure on the level of false ego. People endeavor to climb Everest, to swim across English Channel, go to South Pole, North Pole. Why? Are people want to win Wimbledon, French Open? The pleasure they derive on the level of false ego is the highest. I want my name to be there in, in this magazine or you know, Guinness, Book, Guinness Book of Records. So, the point I'm making is, sensual pleasure is very low, higher than that is mental pleasure, higher than that is intellectual pleasure, much higher is a pleasure on the level of false ego. Next. But honestly speaking, <clears throat> no matter what, the results are otherwise. Material pleasure, especially on the sensual, mental, intellectual and uh, false ego level is called mental pleasure. They are addictive. What is that? Addictive. Many people, they, they picked up their bad habits thinking they will go, they'll go very carefully. Initially we tried, but then eventually we are picked up. They are very, very addictive. <coughs> Second thing is, uh, material pleasures are illusory. I will prove. There is, it appears it is there, but it is not there. I want to prove you also. How many of us like sweets? Raise your hands. Tell one sweet name. Tell one sweet name that you like most. Chocolate. Great. Yes, sir. Burfi. One more sweet name. Huh? Cake. Somebody said gulab jam, sweet ball. A gulab jam, she likes. Okay. University of Cincinnati. You have a cafeteria, right? So you went and ordered, somebody ordered this many chocolates, somebody ordered this many sweet balls, you are hungry also, very hungry. And you ordered, you gave them $10 and they gave you that many sweets and you are hungry, about to eat. Your tongue is longing to taste this wonderful delicacy that is in front of you. You are about to eat, one friend comes, hey, you are here. I have been searching for you past half an hour. 
Just no results came. We all passed. You only failed. <laughs> You will take the chocolate, eat, no taste. You will take the sweet ball, it is going inside the food, no taste. You, we all passed, you only failed. If he had told you we all failed, then you have eaten. But we all passed, you failed. Why? Do you agree what I am doing? I can give, give other examples. One time, actually it's, it's a real, real example. Four friends, one person ordered, because this type of things happen only in universities. <laughs> See, he was about to eat, this friend came. This person eats like a hog. Everybody laughs. Everybody laughs like anything. Oh, you are eating? Eat, eat. I eat like a hog. So, mind is disturbed. Now, let me be honest with you. Let me tell you. For us to enjoy on the sensual level, God, He keeps our mind peaceful. Then only we can enjoy the sweet, whichever it is. If the mind is disturbed, we cannot enjoy. One person went to one prostitute to enjoy. <coughs> Let us take his girlfriend probably. He knocked the door. She is coming. She opened the door. Same point phone call came. Father, hey, where are you? What happened? Mother died. Come home back. Tell me honestly how many persons we have, how many people will go inside and enjoy? Mind is disturbed. That's why, if this is a substance, chocolate, gulab jam, a sweet ball, barfi, if this is a substance that is going to give us happiness, it is not giving happiness all the time. It has quote unquote ifs and buts. So it is illusory, but God, in order to make us happy, to give us that experience, He is making our mind peaceful. That's why it is there, it is also not there. But a risky. Today people are addicted to so many bad habits. Human life is like a CEO life. I have a question for everybody which I am going to ask anyway. How many of us thought we will take birth in this time and live for 70, 80, 90 years? Do we know? You are all very intellectuals in this university. How many of us ever thought of this? I will take birth to these parents in this area and live 70 years. I will become a professor in this, in electrical or mechanical or chemical or whatever. Did we ever think of that? Do we know what is going to happen tomorrow? Who will make decisions on us? Please think one second. Human life is very, very rare. Soul has to enjoy on the soul level. But unfortunately, today we are enjoying sensual level, mental level, intellectual levels. That is fine, if and only if we know very well how to spiritualize it. I am not telling anybody to stop eating. No, we can eat. But we should know how to spiritualize it. That is Karma Yoga. This means you can, you can turn your job into a totally spiritual, spiritual thing. You can turn your relationships into a totally spiritual thing. The food that you eat, Many people don't know. Stanford address, Steve Jobs, this is what he spoke. Choose a work that you that you like most and then love that work. Exactly put that sentences into, if I translate into Bhagavad Gita language, Karma Yoga. Do your activity for the pleasure of Supreme. Eat your food for the pleasure of Supreme. Render service to your friends and family members for the pleasure of Supreme, Supreme Consciousness. If you can do that, I am honest with you. Everything becomes not material but spiritual. 
Otherwise, what happens? We have the risk of uh, losing this great human form of life. We sleep every day, six hours or eight hours. One third of the day, who are we when we sleep? Man or woman? Indian or American? We have no idea. In other words, if we live 100 years, 33 years, we don't know who we are. If we sleep eight hours, you agree? Whoever we are, whatever we are, we should know who we are. But because we are unable to perceive and realize that we are powerful spirit soul, people are today picking up because they have no idea about the highest spiritual pleasures. They are becoming victims to alcoholism, gambling, different, different things. Recently, I was in New York City. This doctor is telling me how painful it is. What a pain it creates. It is like a person who can fly because he is thinking he is a small insect. Because of that uh, misunderstanding, he is not flying. So, instead of getting addicted, today, how many of us know? People are getting addicted. Every fifth person in America has obesity problem. Every fourth person, I went to California, this person is doing research on cancer. We were studying four people. One, two, three, four. He was in the second one. He said, one of the four is going to die out of cancer. I said, what do you mean? That is my research. He said, Why? The food with that meat is contaminated. Air is contaminated. Water is contaminated. Why? Our hearts are contaminated. Because this knowledge is not available. And we are here. We don't know that. We are trying to gratify our low levels. What is today happiness? Acquiring positions and positions at the exclusion of others. Are we really happy? No. What is the result? The result? Rivers are polluted. Everything is polluted. That's what he said. The food we that we eat is contaminated. The water we drink is contaminated. Who is offering solution? Gandhi explains the change you expect in the world, you become the object of the change. So today, what is the best philanthropy? Transform the heart. Let me change my heart. Let me not enjoy lower levels. Let me enjoy higher levels. Otherwise, we are risk of, risk of losing human life. <coughs> human life is a very, very high life. You know, scriptures explain, Bhagavad Gita explains, there are 8.4 billion living entities. A cat, dog, bird, fish, reptile. So, there is a... In the, and human life is the highest life. If we don't utilize it, uh, instead of progressing, we may, number eight, infinity, we may go into other species. So let us not risk our lives. Next. <coughs> These, are, no, yeah. These are the questions I asked. Think of it once. How many of us thought we will live in this era? What? Science has not explained till this day what is the goal of the universe. Why there are 24 hours, 12 hours, sun, 12 hours, darkness, and four seasons. Why? What is the reason? Why should we, like, why go to youth, go to old age, then leave the body? What for? Did, ever, did science ever present the goal of the universe? Why should there be 24 hours? Why should there be four seasons? Why somebody is born poor, somebody is born rich? For what? Who gives explanation to these things? Karma. Karma na daiva nitre na jantara deva ma pathe. Bhagavad Gita Vishnu explains, I decide. So, human life has a meaning. Human life has a <coughs> higher purpose to pursue. But because we don't know, what is the biggest problem? Ignorance, lack of knowledge. Today nobody reads and it is okay to do wrong things. What is the result? 
people have there is so much suffering how many of you know 50% of people in america have mental problems i used to tell every third person but recently the statistics changed every second person spirituality is not an optional thing spirituality is mandatory why recently one person said we are not a human being with spiritual experience we are essentially a spiritual being with human experience what a great point right did we ever ponder on this so did we ever meditate on this we are endowed with so much knowledge did we ever use it to pursue the this higher and higher levels i landed in new york city for my job day one in america the company driver was driving me and suddenly he stopped at the signal and said you know what <clears throat> so underneath there is subway there are so many people waiting to catch the train do you know this i said i don't know how do you know this is the first time i came here likewise <coughs> sir and respected madam above our mind there is a big universe around us we have no idea every action has equal and opposite reaction it is not only newton's third law but it is nature's law also there is always somebody watching our actions and reactions to love and be loved is definitely the need there is one more importance what is it leave legacy i have a small examples to I have a small example here. Next. 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 Go. Go. Yeah. Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley's beauty. What a charismatic person. When he would, when he would come into a room, even if there are thousand people, everyone would stop, turn, and look at his beauty. That is his beauty. And when he would sing. all the opposites everyone would get attracted especially young girls so much money so much fame and name prestige but unfortunately he has no knowledge of his real pleasures that right he came and that was his last tour so many fans all his his followers fans they were waiting for him and his manager came cars came and stopped elvis presley was there his manager went to receive him elvis presley got down fell down fully drunk boss you are fully drunk the whole auditorium is fully booked but if you ask me we'll cancel this trip we'll cancel the program elvis presley said no 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 let us go and see let us see you know <coughs> fully drunk and he was finding his steps barely walked finally went on the stage <clears throat> all the people in the audience you know he was playing guitar and uh, <clears throat> he could not do it, do that program fully drunk because body is a machine it's a structure computer is a machine project is a machine this chair everything is a machine it has a life body is also a machine if you don't take care of it properly it ends up how many of us know elvis presley would eat this many medicines at the age of mid 40s went into coma for 6 months what is body i would try like 6 hours a day sometimes and now because i drove for so many years i can't my body is telling sorry i'm grounded so likewise we are not the body and when we abuse our body with all these uh, artificial things like drugs this and that body gets tired he was fed this many medicines every day 6 months he was in coma what is the legacy he left behind and he left a big estate to his daughter he passed away at a very young age 
America 44, 45 means nothing is private. Next. George Harrison, another famous personality, part of Beatles. How many of you know? On his 21st birthday, George Harrison received five truckloads of greeting cards. What a great day. How many of us received five truckloads of birthday cards on our birthday? But see his good karma, he received five truckloads of greeting cards. I think they also propagated, you know, the counter culture. But the moment he came into the spirituality, one wife, that's it. He happened to meet the devotees of our tradition. He said, please help us. He said, help us, we are very poor. Help us make a record. If we help you make a record, Apple Studios will get the money. You make your own record, I'll help you. Seven days. He gave only seven days of his personal time to this people and he made one, one record. Because of his good karma that became number one for record number of weeks those days. The mantra that we sang Hare Krishna became a household. In late 90s, 98 I think, Ever since he came into spirituality, he gave up breaking all the bad habits full stop. <clears throat> the goal of human life, Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad explains, Antye Narayana chant the name of God, he go back to the spiritual world. So one day, a deranged fan entered into his premises, was mad, overpowered him, started stabbing him. George tried to resist, but when he understood, he couldn't, he cannot. He started chanting the names of God, thinking, this may be my last day, last moment. And uh, luckily, you know, his bodyguards came, rushed, in the, rushed him to the hospital. He was on, on the verge of cycle of birth, on the verge of life and death for so many days. Finally, he was okay. Then, but he got cancer, 2002. He was suffering from cancer. If you, if you wanted, practically the president of any country would go to his bedside. He said, no. Some devotees who transformed my heart, who made me give up these bad habits, who made me take up the path of God consciousness, Krishna consciousness. They should be by, they should be by my bedside as they were Resetting the mantras, the premiums. He breathed his last. Practically, more than 500, 600 churches and temples all over the world performed service free of cost. What did he do? Seven days of his life, he gave free of cost. Choice is ours. We all have to leave the legacy. What legacy are we leaving today? Is our choice. So, instead of it's better, we set an example by ourselves. Then what happens? Actually, one more example I have. This is Peter. You know? Yes. Peter Barwash International, good friends with uh, Jimmy Carter, Rudy Giuliani. <coughs> Very famous person in tennis. as a tennis company. He himself told me this. Should I share with you that wonderful example? 1970s, as a tennis player, you would receive only thousand dollars. ATP, Association of Tennis Professionals. He started a company. He is picking up. He told me this. They came and offered him one million dollars. If he merges his company with the ADP. As he was conversing, he told me this. One of the persons was uh, taking alcohol. He cancelled the contract. It is $12,000 a year against $1 million. He just cancelled the contract. 
This company still holds a policy, no smoking, no drinking policy, no, no drinking policy until today. People look for money that day, is $12,000 like a million? I said, no, I'm happy with $12,000. But I got all the money back with interest in this country. Today people don't understand the power of dharma, spirituality. Everything is energy. If we lead a very spiritual life for the pleasure of supreme, today we may be the loser. But end game, we are successful. He told me, this is the naked truth I am telling to the youth. He takes $35,000, one of the top motivational speakers in the world. For one lecture, he takes that much. But, <clears throat> why? He got an experience. So, however busy he is today, he upholds the spiritual principles. Today, everybody is looking for a religion that enjoys, that supports their gross and sense enjoyment. Not like that. Next. So, she is a Dutch model. You know, she took up the spirituality. She became, you know, she, that transformed the heart. Next. Next. Another model. So, they gave up their bad habits. Next. So, today, we don't want quote unquote so called religiosity. We want the spirituality. What is the difference? I am an essentially spirit soul. Today, if I take birth in one religion, I identify myself with that religion. No. Soul has no religion. What? If at all it is there, what is that religion? Love God. We cannot love God without loving others. Love has a different meaning. What does, what does love signify? Service without expectation. If we render service to others without expectation, trust me, that Supreme Divine is very happy. That's why we say, quote unquote, be spiritual. You know, today people are sentimental, they are very superstitious, and they have so much rituals. Many people approach God for business, it doesn't work. Spirituality doesn't start there. It starts with the selfless service. Saint Francis says, and giving we receive. When we give to others, we receive. What we give to others? Selfless service. How are you today? Speak nicely. Can I get you something? Genuinely. Not Give them a sensual pleasure. They are unhappy. I am unhappy. Give them a spiritual pleasure. No? Next. <clears throat> I am done with the last few minutes. These are the advantages. Practicing spirituality. Acquire knowledge. When we acquire knowledge, we act on the level of knowledge. Satisfaction. Morality. Healthy regulated life. Health group children. Strong family relationships. Respect for elders. So today they are disciplined. I'm finishing it. So, how to transform and this I need only four minutes. How to transform our transform our daily life to a spiritual life? Or do you want us to go to Himalayas and transform like you did? No. Definitely not. Nine to five job. Everyone is working. We encourage everyone to work. But if you work for the pleasure of pain, what does it mean? She worked for the pleasure of something. I usually want we we work the what is the basic necessity? Food. We cook the food and we offer it. We offer the food to God. My Lord, I made this, please eat. Five minutes you offer it and you, you eat it. With the concept of offering food to God. Your 9 to 5 job becomes one. Devotion. Even if you come home, if you think this is my husband, my father, my children, my wife or my boyfriend or girlfriend, 6 to 10, if you think my, my, I, me, mine, it creates bondage. Amrita Bindu Upanishad says, mine is the reason for bondage, mine is the reason for liberation. If you think this is mine, my son, mine, it 
create bondage. But if you say, yes, this is my son, but God-given son, or daughter, or spouse, or friend, let me serve them. If we deal with them in that aspect, your 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock, it becomes devotion. Deal them nicely, with respectfully. Then if you sleep with the mood, with the mood, how to give, give rest to this body so that I can, I can involve this body in God's service tomorrow. That sleep becomes devotion. But for all the things to happen with proper consciousness, what should we do? We go to the bathroom every day to cleanse, evacuate and cleanse our teeth and body. Likewise, we have one application. What is that? The way we cleanse our body, please cleanse our heart also. How to cleanse our heart? The powerful mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. This mantra meditation we suggest everybody. Sit in one corner. It has no religious affiliation. Chant. That meditate on this mantra. 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, one hour. When we have time to go to the bathroom, they learn to cleanse the body for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Why we don't think we need another 20, 30 minutes to cleanse the body? How many of us agree? Our mind has nonsense. If you give a sheet of paper and tell your friend, write what, I, what is happening in your mind, past one week and give it to me. Does anyone let us write everything what happened in our mind and give it to next that friend. Will they ever invite us to their home? <laughs> they will never invite us. But we have to be honest. We have to write everything. You are so lusty, so greedy, so envious. Chee. But we are thinking, we are so much polished. You know, we present ourselves very nicely. But inside is nonsense. We don't know how to get it out. Nobody knows. Quote unquote, whatever so called process we are doing, it's not working. Even whatever we are going to churches, temples, and mosques, it's not working. I am honest with you. What are I telling? I tried. But I know not like that. Let me be honest. My life changed. To the extent I gave up my job to propagate this. So, <clears throat> 20 minutes you sit in the corner and first thing when you chant mantra meditation, first experience is misery. You learn how to this. Why? We think we are the controllers of the entire world. We can't even control our mind for 5 minutes. You start doing mantra meditation. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Rama. Mind will go. Mind will go to the university. My friend is like this, my friend is like this. Then it will go to different places. You are chanting, hands are moving, tongue is moving, mind is also moving. <laughs> so what is experience? I think I am controlling the entire world. But who is controlling? My mind is controlling. Control the mind, which is the root cause of the misery today. So, a association, 168 hours a week like this, two hours, which is less than 2%. Come together and read scriptures. Be books, read Bhagavad Gita. See, every day 10 minutes you chant mantra meditation, be diet. Diet, if you cook for, we cook for two hours or one hour, offer a plate of food to God and partake that with the family members. Family that prays together stays together. Family that dances for God together advances together. Families that sings for God together cling to this one you know. <coughs> Please, A, B, C, D. If we apply these four things, very simple, 20 minutes application a day will transform your entire life. Billions of lifetimes later, one lifetime, we'll get to know who we are, what we are, what we are. That is what Shama life is. 
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आई टोल मन मीन्स माइंड त्रा मीन्स रिलीवर्स इस मंत्र लिबरेट्स अस फ्रॉम द माइंड देन वी रियलाइज दैट वी आर नॉट द बॉडी स्पिरिट्स बॉडी इज नॉट द बॉडी दैट्स व्हाट आई वांट टू टेल प्लीज बी एक्सक्यूज मी एज अ हंबल सर्वेंट इफ आई हैव स्पोकन एनीथिंग रॉन्ग वेरी वेरी ग्रेटफुल फॉर योर ऑडियंस